Well, hello. Happy New Year. Hope your holidays were great. I'm Joseph, owner and operator, creator of the Owen 30 Mosquito Creek Lumber Company, Swamp Log and Railroad, and we're making some progress. Time for another update video for you. Appreciate you watching them all. Our uh, subscription numbers are starting to inch up towards 1,000. And uh, be sure to uh, tell all your friends to subscribe. As soon as we hit 1,000, we're going to have a contest and of all of the subscribers to the Mosquito Creek Lumber Company YouTube channel, and you could win some cool swag from Mosquito Creek Lumber Company. But more on that coming up as we get closer to that 1,000 mark. So today, instead of uh, spiking some rail to those ties that we laid down in the last uh, episode, the last update, uh, before we get around to doing that and ballast and all that great stuff, I think it's time to uh, work on that flip up track extension that's going on the edge of the layout here at the Blackwater Junction Yard. That extension will extend uh, the track just enough to get a locomotive and a caboose or a, a small passenger train or a couple rail buses to uh, get around and uh, get around their trains to do a little bit more switching and get over to the depot, all that kind of stuff. So it'll help in aiding in the operation of the layout. So with that said, let's get started on building this flip up track extension thing. So if you remember, we uh, laid these ties down. They're all stuck to the road bed. And uh, here is the area that the fold up track extension is going to be. Now it's gonna be just long enough to uh, clear the door here on the closet. So that should be uh, plenty of room. There'll be, uh, I'm gonna use this HO scale turnout. That'll go like that. Some and to make it easier to put cars on the track, uh, one of these uh, re-railers, those are pretty nice. And we'll have that there as well. So I can put new cars on the, the layout. A lot easier than fiddling with <laughs> trying to get each little wheel on there as I seem to have trouble with that, keeping the wheels on the rails. So here we go, we've got the, the fold down extension. And if you're wondering what this mess is over here, <laughs> these are the casualties of that bin falling off of the top shelf and crashing into the concrete of the garage. Uh, Sawbones office here took some major damage. Uh, this is a logger's cabin. This is a uh, skid for a diesel generator and that one kind of got messed up a little bit. This stuff over here is for my HO scale Kwai Hai Harbor layout. Oh, and here we go. <laughs> this is the water tank with nine lives. This is uh, going on the Owen 30 layout. Again, after being repaired again, I think this thing has withstood, oh, at least five or six damaging falls or problems. So uh, we'll get this one back on the layout as soon as possible. Okay, I wanna make sure that my support, my folding bracket is uh, dead center on this piece of wood so it doesn't fold down crooked. And here I've got um, about three and three sixteenths. Three and three sixteenths. Now that's a little less, so this has got to come over. So let's call it three and an eighth. 
and around three and an eighth right there we'll mark it and then let's see down here three and three sixteenths Three and three sixteenths. Why is this different? Because this is a little bit wider than this piece to allow it to go inside. All right, when that's all lined up, I'm gonna um, mark my screw holes so I can drill a pilot hole. So that's got that thing taken care of. We got our folding uh, layout extension uh, piece in. It is a little teeny bit wobbly for me. So what I'm gonna do is put a couple support pieces, a couple strips of wood directly underneath here, and then that'll keep it from shaking back and forth. And then just lower it down when we wanna get into the closet. Up it goes and those support pieces will help stabilize it on each side. I've got a couple of the screws that stuck through a little bit too far on the wood, so I'll grind those down and then that will be ready to throw some track on. So thanks for joining me. Next time we'll lay the track here and we'll get some rails going down on the uh, ties down here in the Blackwater Junction area. Can't see you, I got sawdust all over me. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, appreciate it. And tell all your model railroading friends about the Mosquito Creek Lumber Company, Owen 30 Swamp Log and Railroad.
my story.